It is now my pleasure to announce the awards earned by members of the class of 2021. This first award is in memory of Anne B. Festa, Bishop Festa's late wife. The Anne B. Festa Award for Interfaith Values is awarded to Reverend Dr. Alan Siegel. Congratulations to Dr. Siegel. He'll be offering the class response later in the program. The Howard Thurman Award for Community Building for her concern for the well being of her classmates and the willingness to reach out and assist them goes to Liberata M. Sinclair. Liberata, you're going to say a few words. Hi there. Yeah, thank you. So I'm the community person and I am a weaver and I was given two minutes. So let's see what we can do with a couple of minutes together. I'll share a little of my inner theology of presence and you can see what you feel about it and if it's of use to you. My work and life has taught me we are intellectual, mental, emotional, spiritual, physical. In a physical and non-physical universe, we are within this physical body uh, with a product-driven values culture and working within another physical construct of time, a created structure. This physicality is one-fifth of our wholeness, yet it commands center stage and can leave the rest of ourself, intellectual, mental, emotional, spiritual, feeling in some kind of exile. A big way to break that exile is to break time and is presence. And we hear the expressions presence or the gift of time, and we somehow know this is really the truest treasure we have and the liberation from the push and pull between our aspects of self and the constructed world is a key we hunger for. This is the unseen structure of community. Like the holes in lace, we often marvel or critique the physical threads that make lace, but forget that the unseen structure of the spaces are just as integral to the patterns. If you can free yourself from the dominance of this physical structuring that creates a type of exile of our other four fifths, we find timelessness, time to call someone, be there, listen, notice, which is communion, and are reminded through this there is no other. And we have a lifeblood of inner knowing activated and in our five fifths conversation, guiding what is important. So we don't sweat the small stuff, which in Sicilian is a concept called fudatini. Ama la vida di altro, love the life of another. So we can take a moment and feel grateful and connected to each other. Consider these in our communities, our loved ones, Jeff the ice cream man, our bird, squirrel, and human neighbors, and wonder, wonder who we are without each other. Who am I without you? And let's never know. Community is the space within our lace. So thank you. Congratulations and thank you for that lovely speech. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. The New Seminary Student Service Award goes to Maven Eve Hurwitz. Thank you so much. Okay. <clears throat> First, thank you to my classmates. You're amazing. Our instructors and, of course, Dr. J. I love you all. <clears throat> For a long time, I served others so that they would like me and accept me. Then for a long time, I served others so that I could like and accept myself. I joined the military, I ran for office, I started my own business, volunteered, generally overcommitted. Now, because of my journey with the new seminary, I know that my service comes down to one thing, love. Two and a half years ago, I was lost and I begged the universe to use me, all the while continually denying the love that was waiting for me inside of me. Now I have joyfully surrendered to the voice of goddess singing so loudly within me. I no longer deny the love that lives in me and shines through me for all of humanity, including miraculously for myself. 
goddess speaks through me and my service, which is my gift, whether it's activism, technology, music, Reiki, coaching, finance, or really anything that anybody might need. Being a really useful engine fills me with joy and makes me happy to be alive and human and participating. This is the example I wanna set for my amazing five children so they can be their authentic selves and unapologetically bring their gifts to the world. This is the path to unconditional love for self and others and the salvation of all of humanity. Love is the answer. Love is always the answer. I love you all. Congratulations, Eve. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. The art of crafting a homily is a sacred art. And the Jay Spates Homolytics Award goes to Jacqueline Drosher. Jackie, you're muted. Thank you and congratulations to all my classmates. When we were given the homiletic assignment, I was naturally nervous. Homiletics, the art of preaching or writing sermons by making connections with scripture, storytelling, and current events, meant I had to publicly speak about a topic that voiced where my heart lived. As a retired teacher, this gave me a fulfillment that I hadn't realized I missed. And it also enabled me to speak to the important topic of finding your life's purpose, my life's purpose. This award holds a special place in my heart because it is named after my mentor, Reverend Dr. Jay Spates. So thank, thank you. Thanks to you, to the new seminary, Reverend Dr. Stacy Goldforth, Reverend Dr. Gioni Palmer, Reverend Dr. Samora Smith, and of course, Reverend Dr. Jay Spates, as well as my husband, Norman, for the countless times he had to hear my sermon, and to my children for their overwhelming support. And thank you all. Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations, Jacqueline. Thank you so much. Two Ecumene Global Community Service Awards are being given for activism, in, uh, activism service in conjunction with the New Seminary's outreach activities as a non-governmental organization with the United Nations. The first award for her contributions in organizing TNS's activities with the United Nations Commission on the Status of Women Worldwide goes to Isabel Dawson. Isabel here with us? Don't think she's here. We offer Isabel congratulations. The second award for organizing TNS's participation in the annual World Interfaith Harmony Week goes to Dr. Claire Alicia Nelson. Back in 2002, I spoke on the topic with the world towards the time and place beyond race in a room of about 150 people where I was the only black person in the room. As a lifelong stutterer in recovery, I gripped the podium all the way through. So the next day when I got home, I opened their thank you card and it read, thank you for your ministry. I remember my heart pounding and I broke into sweat, but I took that as an affirmation that the gift of speech that God had bestowed on me was so that I could presence his purpose as a voice for the voiceless. I accept this award for global ecumenism as a proud member of the Ohotu clan, those outliers, heretics, outlaws, troublemakers, and unreasonable people who are privileged to be called to serve as God's midwife to birth radical love in this world. As the first one of the first persons to be so honored with this award, I understand this as a charge to advance the new seminary's role in evolving God's vision for humanity based on a renewed understanding of the spiritual, moral, aspirational, relational, and transformational rules of our role as co-creators with God of a smart future. 
I thank the people at TNS for the affirmation of this path for my walk in the world as a minister of activism. I feel privileged to accept this mission as I accept this award. Hineni. Congratulations, Dr. Claire. Thank you so much. And congratulations to all of the awardees of 2021.